The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials down 8, Nasdaq's up 26, S&P's are down 1. We have the gold contract trading flat. 12.4350. Silver is uh, down a six cents, sixteen dollars thirty-five cents. You get platinum down a buck at nine twenty. Uh, light sweet crude still can't catch a bid. Uh, Forty-three bucks, forty-three sixty-four. We're gonna get the EIA numbers out at ten thirty. That's right. Um, numbers that come out last night. Basically, uh, there's there's a lot of oil out here, man. That's the bottom line. Not enough buyers, that's for sure. Not right enough now. buyers. Um, bonds, notes, and bonds, folks, pulling back today. You get the notes back seven ticks. 126.22, 30-year bond back 11 ticks, 157.09. Now, both of them, yesterday, they rejected lower price. They still want higher price, lower yield. Pretty amazing. Uh, and King Dollar, King Dollar just can't catch a bid. Uh, down 27 ticks, 97.385. The euro is trading at 111 to the U.S. dollar. The yen is out there trading at 111.5 to the U.S. dollar. Um, it's the ever uh, bunny market. We'll see what happens, right? Yeah. Some news on the market. You see Amazon's going to be selling Nikes. Oh, are they? They are, directly. Oh. Yeah, that's a That's a big deal. Another, Cut out the middleman. That's right. it. Yeah. Wow. Right right from the factories in China or wherever they're making them, right sure. to your doorstep the exactly. next day. Unreal. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade Think or Swim. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time, swim lessons. Kevin Hinks, Scott Connor, they got an amazing show. If you want to understand options upside down, you can get this show as everything at TFNN right on your cell phone. You go to TFNN.com, you hit Tiger TV, and as you're, come, as you're over at our website at TFNN, if you haven't test drove the Thinkorswim platform, folks, it's a phenomenal pr platform. Uh, they upgrade it on a continual basis, uh, and you want information, information is at your fingertips 24 hours a day. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. How you doing, Tommy? man? Kevin. Tommy, I was listening to your comments. I think the only thing that can stop Amazon is the FTC. Yeah. Yeah. And that's <laughs> right. going to be a problem real soon, if not already. Yeah. Right? You know, it be, be you know that's rearing its head. <laughs> if they're literally you know? selling everything. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know what else could stop them. I it doesn't. It doesn't appear to be like any any company can. Uh, can compete so, right yeah and you know what's amazing what what would you really look at i remember that they never could figure out in the pizza business how monahan took dominoes and just sure he took over everything sure. okay yeah. sure and i had i i listened to this interview with him right and he was explaining this like 15 years ago he was explaining that he wasn't in the pizza business he was in the delivery business yeah. right yeah, right. and all of a sudden, you know, I realized even the last couple of days, I says, you know what? They're just in the delivery business, man. Yeah, it's, right. It's totally. They're deliver just, everything. Totally. When they buy right. Whole Foods, I'm ecstatic because guess oh. why? They're going to be able to deliver that amazing, you they, know, meats and stuff. Of, they, they, yeah. They're going to, that delivery chain that they oh, have set up for it's, sure. It's a big number, man. Yeah. It's a big right. number. And they are, they are everywhere. They guys. are everywhere. How about this? There's a country club in a western suburb of Chicago adjacent to O'Hare Airport that Amazon is trying to buy just for the land adjacent to the airport for a distribution center. Wow. Sure. Oh, that's so smart. I know. Yeah. That, that's yeah. That's that's a great idea, man. That's pretty amazing. I mean, they really did revolution. They just want land near the airport. Yeah. They really so they could get to it easier. They revolutionized. You know, everybody wants the internet. You don't want to wait for your stuff. In the beginning of internet, you had to wait a week, right? Still yeah. some retailers, you need to wait like five, seven days. Right. And then oh, yeah. if you need to return it, it's a process. And Amazon was like, Amazon Prime, two days free for everything. Um, and that revolutionized. I it, can't it. wait. Yesterday, they did this clothes thing, right? And... I can't, so what happens, folks, you can buy 15 items. They don't even charge you. You only get charged if you don't send them back in seven days, okay? So they announced it yesterday. They're going to roll it out in the next few months, okay. right? And I can't wait because, I mean, 
between jeans and just polo shirts. That's all I really buy. So I know what I want. Yes. It's, it's, you know what I mean? And, that's and, a great and idea. I've seen you dress. That is all you have. It is. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's awesome. A couple clicks, right? I like right. the seven-day deal because clothes are tough. You yeah. Know? Right. That's, that's smart. Exactly. Yeah. Because how many times have you, you bought two pairs of the same thing and one fits, one doesn't? Oh, right. totally. Right. Totally. All the right. time. You know, folks... Kevin and Scott, they got an amazing show. Um, yesterday, Kevin, right, it was so cool listening to you because, you know, I, I've traded a lot of futures, right? What I didn't realize, I used to love trading the OEX because that was a cash settlement, right? Sure. And it was so cool when you were talking about I didn't realize that some of these options on futures now are cash settlements versus, you know, Getting a, getting a ton of wheat. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you, well, you can do either one. Yeah. On some of these. Yes, it's, it's a brand new product. It's not, and, and frankly, between you and I, Tom, they haven't done a great job of marketing it because I saw it. I'm like, boy, you should tell everyone about That's this. That's the right. first time so I heard can, it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 see, cool. for, now, for you to say that, that means they have a marketing problem. Yeah. Right. That, 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 they didn't tell enough people because it's, it's, it's ingenious. It is. It'll it's, revolutionize because some people don't want to risk of taking a future no right I, they I, just want to trade it for cash right right i mean definitely it's it's just much Genius. easier you yes. know what i mean Genius. it's like you know so that and was the, that was yeah and and the cash settled product and the future settled product are right next to each other i know that that and folks you know you get these tidbits every day but that to me was like a monster one because it's like you got to be kidding me. there's always i was listening yeah. a couple months ago and they were like you should be going in the middle of the market never in the middle oh, the totally. offer. it's like totally. of course you know and then right. you see this mid-market is always action yeah. yeah right here folks 12 to 1 every trading day just go to tfn.com hit tiger tv kevin thank you so much of course we look forward to the show at noon thanks for having me guys have thanks, a great man. one have a safe one stay right there folks tommy and i are coming right back Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now uh, down eight. You get the Nasdaq up 22. S&Ps are uh, down two and a half. And it's Wednesday, so we have oil. We have oil. Let's, let's see. We have some action going have, on yeah. overnight. So we'll pull this back even a little bit further to find that API number. There's the API. So yeah. looks like there was spikes, but nothing too substantial. And then, this last night. Yeah, and then I wonder what was happening at about 3.15, 3.30 in the morning. That would be Europe opening. Yeah. And then, when, you know, when I woke up this morning, what I did see is that uh, you had the Middle East, whether it's Iran or uh, one of them, they come out and says, oh, we might have to get together again and, and, and pull more oil off the market. Okay. You know, so I'm wondering, that was the, you know, they, they woke up and said, oh, they didn't wake up. Yeah, they'd be, you know, they'd be 9 o'clock their time in the morning. It's like, oh, no, we're going under 43 now. Yeah. Because that looks like it, di it dipped down to 43, did it? Uh, let's see, right? 43.03. Okay, 43.03. So um, right now, trading it, we're looking at the August contract, 43.67. Yeah. Let's see, I jumped in here to the 11 AMs to start yes. off with. And it looks like 43.75. Okay. Could be the... Um, a point we use for the 11 AMs. Let's see, so we're gonna have a little bit of value to the negative side, right? Like yeah. six pennies, You're selling it. $23 to the negative side per contract and 18 to the positive side. So 41, 41 bucks, yeah. yeah. Four and a half, that's four pennies, folks. Yep. From 43.75. Yeah, right, okay. And let's just jump around, because if we wanted to take a peek with the type of action oil has been getting lately, so 12 o'clocks would have the same, and let's see what you'd have to pay for that extra hour. Okay. So again, we're gonna have the negative one. Oh, wait, I pulled up the wrong one there. The, the negative one, 43.75 to 42.25, yep. we're selling that one. Instead of 23, it's about 27. It's not bad. And instead of 18, it's about 22. So you're paying about four pennies. Eight, eight cents, yeah. Yeah. Four pennies on, on each, each side. side. Right. It's not bad. No, 49 to go till noon to give yourself three times the amount of time. You know, instead of 30 minutes going from 10.30 to 11, you wow. get from 10.30 till 12. Yeah. Instead of paying about 41, 42, you're paying 49. And we're dealing with the August contract. Yeah, and just really with the type of volatility you've been getting with oil, that might be a decent premium to pay if you're already making a volatility trade and you're anticipating more volatility than the market has priced in. Right? Yeah. Well, particularly because you could make the argument that you're at lows. Like, can we just put the look at the Bloomberg for a second? I'll, oh, good. You're going to 230. Yeah, I'm just going to go, go for a final. Okay. So I jumped okay. to the daily ones, which are $5. They're too far off. Your closest point is 43. But then you jump to the daily ones here from 10 till, I'm sorry, 830 till 230. Okay and 43.50, which would be a point, but that's close. You're within 20 points if you wanted to really yeah. take it all day. Again, you're selling the negative one. That's the cheap one, because it's gonna be 20 cents out of the money. Yeah. And you're buying the positive one. So about 63, you have 21 cents in value of that, yeah, though, to the that. positive side. So, you know, especially if you were looking for a, a bullish pop from, you know, this yeah. pullback. That might be a nice trade because you're looking at 62 to go all day, and you are you and know, you get 21 cents in value. Yeah, that, you know, on right. one side, you know. Right. The the way to look at this is your break even price right now is only to the positive side about 21 cents or so. Now you that's factoring in the premium that's still in there, um, but you know you're making up if you make it up to the positive side, you only have to make up what you're paying on the net, on the bearish spread, sure. right, right? Which is only 21 ticks right now. So let's take a look at this. Go for see it. What we got. So let me just put. I'm gonna put the USO up first because I the oil contract is uh, delayed. Okay, so that's trying to get into the gap. I gotta make sure we get the right same contract up because the oil contract just rolled. Oh, good. Okay, so we got the same one up. Let me just 
And what I was going to say is on the USO, it didn't show that lower spike, I don't think, because the market was closed. That's exactly, right. So let's take a look here. Well, you know, it's, it's got that, it's still got a high volume low from last night at 4303. Okay. Yeah. That would be almost a 75 cent move away from that 4375, which is what the 11 a.m.s and the 12 o'clocks are, are trading off of. Wow. So as in that, that would be a good move, yeah. you know, paying, because you'd be paying, what, about 40 cents? Yeah, that's it. 41 cents. About. 41 cents for the 11, 49 cents for the uh, noons. Okay. That's how that's shaken up. I'm going to let it be. Okay. Let's go, let's, let's go, see what happens. let's go look at the, uh, I want to look at the uh, XLE. Yeah, so the XLE is in trouble too. Oh, this is going to be interesting, man. So the XLE hasn't been, it, it can't, it's having a hard time holding 64.60. We're at 64.73 right now, but this thing, uh, that, that don't hold that level, and that's going to be trouble in paradise. If we go to the Exxon Mobil, Exxon, hold, Exxon was holding, Chevron was holding yesterday, and that's holding too. No. It's been a one-way trade on this for yeah. six months. Uh, What's well, put, putting juice into the NASDAQ again, uh, keeping it up. Look at this. Look at the, the biotechs. Yeah, I saw you pulling that up before the show. Yeah, man, oh, man. That's a move. So the biotechs, the IBB folks, okay, uh, this is over the consolidation. That consolidation, you're going all the way back to uh, January of 2016. That's saying that, guess what? You know, you, you're into vicious uh, resistance, but that's like, okay, man, you're 313, 331 is game here. Yeah. You know, even the top is 343, which is pretty amazing. And inside of that, uh, there it is, Regeneron up 5% again. Yes. Look at this. So this was up 5% yesterday, too. <laughs> um, and that had to do with another company that their eye drug wasn't going well. Okay. Very general. That's what, okay. And that's what they do. They, okay. They have... Uh, so the competition is not doing well. Right. Uh, Insight uh, is up 4.9. Biogen is up 3.9. Look at those numbers, man. Um, uh, O'Reilly Automotive is down 2.8. Uh, this stock has been getting smoked. Look at that. I wonder if Amazon's going to be begin selling automotive. Yeah, they are. That's how that I mean, started. That's what, you know, I, no, that, that, I only kid, but of right. course they are. Oh no, are, right? but that, that's how it did start. Okay, yeah, I bet. That's, yeah, that's no, how it started. I totally right. <laughs> so that's breaking down. That seems like something really easy to to you know price shop that you know what you're ordering. Oh my Most God. people ordering it, I you can find your order part number, right? right? I mean, it's right. like, and then you just order it, and then they're all. When you said the uh, this morning about this Nike deal, right? Yeah. This is going to be a big deal because I agree. that's what what Amazon has been trying to do. Remember with Procter and Gamble, they want them to change their boxes so they can yep. go direct. Yes. If all these companies start going direct, what's going to happen with stores? Right. <laughs> You know, Nike has their oh, own sure. stores. They, Foot Locker, listen, can right. you find Foot Locker? Foot Locker's yeah. in trouble today. Right. Let's check out what they're doing. There you go. Look at that. Oh, I know. I oh. said, yeah. The market's agreeing with you. I mean, who needs to go to Foot Locker when you can just go to Look Amazon to buy your sneakers? It just went from $80, folks. To, oh, man, someone must have known that. It just went from $77 yeah. in May. They, May probably came, they, they obviously came out, I'm, I'm guessing that's earnings when they... they <sighs> Have the bye bye bar. Foot Locker. Oh my God. Yep. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are going to be coming back with uh, some uh, oil numbers. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are down eight. Nasdaq's up 26. SPs are down two. We're going to break back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today.
Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger's TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high definition video giving you crystal clear charts as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, crude inventories uh, fell at 2.45 million barrels. You had gasoline inventories fall 577,000 barrels. We had distillates uh, ro rise 1.08 million barrels. Uh, and if we uh, come over to the uh, Nadex platform, folks, if you haven't test drove that platform, just come to the web website of TFNN. You can hit the banner. Um, and see how, uh, walk along with us as we trade these defined option contracts. So we decided to make a trade over the break as it even crept, crept closer to the 43.75 before the trade. So we took the 12 o'clocks for yep. a couple contracts. 43.75 is our point, and we have about an hour and a half, and we're looking for about 50 cents, 52 cents away from there for break even. So to the positive side, 44.26 becomes about break even. Okay. Um, and here is our positive one right now. Now, of course, you have a little bit of premium because it's so close to the floor. Yeah. You know, where necessarily if you... The floor is... Uh, and this one is... Uh, 43.75, so yep. 25 cents below. Right. So, you, you know, it's trading 44.01, even though market's 43.99, 44.02. Um, so we'll give this some time. We have an hour and a half. Yeah. And, and right now we're about 25... 20, 20 cents of value in there. And you got a, we got a spike on the numbers. We did. As high as 44.17. And that was very short-lived. And that wouldn't have even gotten us back to break even. Right. It would have been really close. And that's why we were watching it. Um, but we'll see what happens. We'll let it play out for a little bit. Yeah, so we need you need 50 cents, basically. 50 cents away from 43.75. We already have 20 cents to the upside. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Uh, let's go over inside the marketplace, and uh, we'll take a look at the uh, Dow Industrials first, uh, see what the Dow has. Uh, Dow right now, uh, the leaders uh, inside the Dow. There she is. So putting juice into it, you have uh, United Health's putting seven positive points, Merck's putting five, Nike's putting three, Walmart's putting two. Taken away from it, Caterpillar's uh, putting five negative, 3M4, IBM three, Intel 3, um, NDX. Yeah, I think AMD 
was having some success, which oh. had Intel. Okay. We can take a look at AMD yep. at some point. But yeah, I though, there it is. Well. Intel's one of the losers, yeah. uh, down 1.5%. Um, and uh, oh, that's, that CA, that used to be Computer Associates. They changed the name just to CA. But that's going to be, I think, I believe that they're taking themselves out. They're going to go private. Okay. Um, yep. That's tech buyout. Yeah. Yep. Let's go to our man, uh, Carlos in California. Carlos, what's going on? Hey, Tom. Good morning. Uh, Tom and Tommy, how are you guys? Morning, doing Carlos. Doing great. Yourself? I'm doing all right. Thank you. Cool, man. So, what uh, are we going to look at? Uh, this time, I want to look at uh, Nugget. Nugget. Okay. So, Nugget, folks, is the 300% bull position of the uh, New York ARCA Gold Miners Index, which is the GDX. If we take a look at the GDX, uh, the GDX out here finally caught a bid. You know, what we had yesterday, um, it was anemic on the way down, dramatically so. Um, you know, we only did uh, 31 million shares. You're going against 48 million. Now it's caught a bid. Uh, you're inside, uh, well, it's, it's going to try to get inside this 2209. Right now you're at 2206. 2209. Um, that was the downdraft. So now, do you already own Nugget? Carlos, are you looking to yeah, buy it? Uh, my, yes, my wife bought it yesterday, <laughs> uh, close to the uh, to the uh, um, end of the day. Okay. Uh, we were we were listening to your comments about the uh, possible uh, sign of a string on. Uh, yeah. I think it was um, May 16 and yeah. 18. Yes. And 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 uh, this morning, I was actually I was trading uh, gold last night, and it it made a pop until. Like always, around three, four, five. That's when it fell down. Okay. And and I was a little upset because I thought it was gonna open lower, but it just went down a little bit and just took off. Now, you, now your wife's name is Lorena, right? Yes. Lorena. Okay. Cool. So uh, yes, and 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 and, and the, the, my question related to to the nugget is, I noticed it's right now it's at three point five percent about this much um uh, in this case means that it may be a little bit uh of leading um metals to the contract versus the contract to the met, uh, to the miners I mean the okay so i i believe is, is the question that uh, the stocks leading them the metal right now uh, actually the stock of the miners in this case are uh, well, they have more strength than the yes. uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so other yes. miners. No, no, for aircraft. sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah, no, that's that's a fact. Okay, so if we start with Barrick, Barrick is the largest weighting inside the the GDX. Um, let's see, you're at 1.7 million shares. You're going to need 8.6. That'll probably do that. Okay, Newmont is the second largest weighting. Newmont has. 490,000, you're going to need 4 million. That's going to need some more volume. Um, let's go take a look at Rangold. Rangold's at 600, that's going to, that's, I mean, 166. Yeah, the, it, the, a few of them, they're going to need to pick up in price. Let me look at uh, Franco Nevada, which is a large. Okay, this is good. So Franco Nevada, you know, stayed out of his lower range of seventy dollars and thirty cents, and that's catching a bid. Now, what happens with Franco Nevada is this, folks: is that it's going to need more volume too. But Franco Nevada is the largest royalty equity out there. So. There, how Franco Nevada trades is very crucial. Yeah. It seems that it leads the price of gold. Their right? value is completely determined by the price of gold. It is. Pretty much so, yeah. It is. Yeah. It is. I think you got some action here. Um, well, yeah, since, yeah. since we're just talking, it just went up another 20 cents. <laughs> uh, uh, Tom, so it's it, it, uh, putting a stop uh, away from my entry. Um, how much will you give him from the, because practically we, we got in uh, this is this is what I do here so let's do it right now I, what you can do I I always look for these high volume spikes now on this case here you can put this awesome man you can put it right underneath the spike that we're getting right now 
thirty dollars and twelve cents. I'd put it right underneath there. Because okay. what should happen, what shouldn't happen, is that if it, you can see the volume is expanding dramatically here. Okay, it's quite a ten minute bar. It, it is, and so if it gets underneath there, it's going to be like okay, you're going to do a, a retracement all the way down. You know, a lot lower. Now I wouldn't put it right at thirty twelve. I'd probably put it at like thirty oh one or something. You're, you're giving it, you know. What, 30, 40 cents from where you are. Um, but that's not bad because you get in yesterday anyway. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, do you have time for another one? Sure. Uh, we got into USO, and the only reason we got into USO, okay. Stay right there. We're going to do. do uh, Thank you. Perfect. We'll start looking at that oil again. Yeah. Let's see where we're totally. at. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow Industrials right now are up 32. No, Dow Industrials are down five. Nasdaq's up 32. S&P's are flat. Gold is uh, starting to catch a bid. We'll see if we get any action. It's up 250. We'll be right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, oil numbers just come out. We're talking with Carlos from uh, California. We're going to be talking about the USO. And so the numbers... Yeah, we'll, we'll go over them real quick. Just the crude oil, was the headline number was down 2.4 million barrels. The median estimate was down only about 1.2 million barrels. Um, so down more than expected there. Yeah. That, that was the initial price jump. 
Uh, what they're talking about as well is gasoline. There was a draw, and there was expected that there'd be the surplus. Right. Um, so that's been People driving. People are driving inexpensive yeah. gas. And with the, the gas shock, they had the chart. Let's see where they uh, the chart. Here is the gasoline spiking higher. This says a 1041, pulling back a little bit, but that one much more even than the price of oil. We went from 141 to 144 in unleaded. And yep. jumping back to oil, oil unfortunately for our trades at 43.75, but at least it's nice we made that trade till noon. Right. And if you look, I mean, even though it's at almost the max loss, maybe it's 43.80, there's still $50 in value in that because there's still. Time. 80 minutes almost of time right. in the oil market to get a 50 cent move, which could happen in any two minutes. In maybe. a heartbeat. Exactly. Yeah, so totally. let's jump to USO. That ties in well. So let's let's take a look at the USO. USO, folks, is the uh, ETF structure. Um, it's the United States Oil Fund. Uh, the low today is 894. The high is 909. So you bought this yesterday too, Carlos? No, I bought it the day before, uh, Tom. Okay. Uh, uh, but but pretty much uh, we're doing okay right now. Uh, yeah. And the only reason we bought it is because we had uh, uh, some uh, gains from uh, gasoline and uh, oil. Okay, cool. And uh, that was thank you to Mr. Z that he helped me out with that position. I really appreciate that. Nice. And uh, we took the risk of putting the position, and it uh, seems like uh, well, uh, the pop-up helped somehow. Yeah, and we just want to uh, ask if if it's smart to uh, keep it for a possible rebound in oil for a little bit. What I would do, I would want this to get inside of nine dollars and eleven cents today, because okay. th this is a gap down with volume, and this is like trouble. Got as high as nine oh nine. It looks yeah. like on that spike after the yeah. EIA. You know. And I, and I think you're going to, you know, get the volatility you need out here today, too. Uh, 882. This is interesting. So watch what this did, folks, okay? So the high of the low going back to February is uh, $8.82. Uh, on a weekly, that's $323 million. Well, we hit the 883 yesterday. Um... Oh, uh, let's see. Today's Wednesday. Let me see. I'm going to put all uh, three days up. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah. So, now that's that that part there is a positive, Carlos, okay? So, yeah. it came down into the lows because that's when oil was actually went down to $37. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, the low of that is 767 So, there's a couple so different $27 ways. $27 today? Uh, $37, I think. Did it? Was okay. it 27 Might have been 27 Oh, it might have been 27 yeah. So... There's a couple of different ways you can trade this, right? You can look at the weekly yeah. and say, okay, you tested the eight dollars and eighty-three cents. You came to eight. Well, you went to eight eighty-three versus eight eighty-two, but that's that's a decent test. You look at the volume and say, okay, what is the volume for the week? It's we're talking, and you're not going to get three hundred and thirty-two million because right now you're at eighty-seven. It doesn't look like you're going. So if it stays above eight eighty-two, well, that's that's a good indication that yeah, you can get a bounce. That that is one positive. Now let me give you the negative. The negative would be that you gapped away yesterday. You have come up to 909. It hasn't even got to the lows of the gap. It's like, okay, man, are you setting up another leg down? That's why when I started the conversation, if this doesn't get over 911, I'd close it out, man. You know, because okay. the, the probability is you're going to go after 883. And what we don't know is that, you know, oil hasn't been able to catch a bid in six months. Yeah. You know, so it's like, okay, are they going to take it south again? Do you know what I mean? Yes. And, and uh, well, thank you so much. Thank you for your time and have a nice day. Thanks, okay. Carlos. Have a great one. Have a safe one. care, man. So whatever happened here, as we were talking to Carlos, uh, the uh, market caught a bid. The okay. N the NQs uh, caught a big bid. Do they? Was, yeah, watch. Up 42 now. Yeah. That. That sure did. Yeah. So we just went. So <laughs> let's uh, look We're at. We're up one percent basically from the overnight low almost. Yep. And it's probably still these biotechs, I yeah. guess. Um, yeah. It's yep. All biotechs. Generon, Biomarin. Yep. Yep. Biotechs to the to the rescue. Um, we take a look at the cues. 
the Qs are going to go after the highs of yesterday, and one of the Tigers are saying the SMHs, well, that's only up 69 cents. But bottom line, AMD, can you pull up AMD? AMD, yep. Yep, yeah, that's they're up big for that, that's up yep. a dollar for a twelve dollar and sixty cent stock as of yesterday. You're looking at what seven eight percent. Yep, and yeah, after releasing new Disa. super chip. Oh, interesting. So, uh, Advance Micro was surging on the market open Wednesday as a company stock continues to benefit from the unveiling of details of a new super processing chip, uh, EPYC. They pronounce it Epic, I believe. But I do. Epic okay. with a Y. Okay. Yeah. Um, our epic family of processes, uh, AMD has delivered an industry leading performance on critical enterprise cloud machine intelligence workloads. Uh, you know, so we'll see if uh, this has some, something to do with the uh, aspect of the, uh, let's see, NVDA, you know, it's the, the machine learning. I mean, that's where NVIDIA is crushing yes, it, right? Yes, now, yes. That's what everyone's, they have they, the processing they, chips. They have, that, right, right. Yeah. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Let's go over to the GDX because that's what they're talking to Carlos. Uh, uh, the GDX is also catching a bid. Yeah, you know. Uh, so we're at twenty two oh six. I think I think twenty two oh nine is the number it's got to get inside of. Okay. And twenty two oh nine. Yeah, and where I'm going with that? That's so I, June fourteenth. June fourteenth, and you know the June fourteenth date, folks. This is where this this doesn't happen a lot, but when it happens, you want to be cognizant of it. It's like when you have a day like this, meaning you have a high volume day, then it's like, okay, were you pushing the swing highs with volume or you're pushing the swing lows? And guess what? You don't know. <laughs> that's, the, that's the bummer about it. Sure. And, and the reason I'm saying you don't know, folks, is watch this, is that the high is 23.86. That's the swing high, uh, the small one, but that's the swing high they're going for. We only went to 23.42. So that's uh, what forty cents away from it, and then the low is twenty eighty nine, and the low here was twenty two oh nine. Isn't that wicked? Sure. You know, it, it doesn't happen a lot, though. That's the key. So what you're looking for is you're looking for it to get inside it, because if it gets inside it, that your probability gets higher that okay, now it's going to reach up to the high. Let's go uh, over to my man Tom from Plymouth. Hey Tom, what's going on? Hey, good morning, Tom. Tommy, how you doing? Morning, doing Tom. Great man, yourself. Oh, I'm doing very well, thank you. I got to give you a uh, attaboy and a thank you and everything else for that tip yesterday. You were all over that nugget, GDX, J Nug. I said, you know, he really sounds like this thing is going. So I said, you know, I'm going to jump in yesterday afternoon. <laughs> and I said, you, yeah, you, a you, us, and Lorena. <laughs> oh my God, we, we're gonna, we're all. I think we're all dreaming about the the triples. Sometimes they're good dreams and sometimes they're bad dreams, folks. <laughs> you stay right there. Tommy and I and Tom from Plymouth are coming right back. Dow's up 41. NASDAQ is, uh, where is she? Oh, NASDAQ's up 41. Dow's up 6. Come right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. 
See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour. Following the Tom O'Brien Show, Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with hosts Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. We're talking with our man Tom from Plymouth, and we're talking the metal market. So what do you want to look at, Tom? Well, Tom, I was I, I missed most of your show this morning, um, unfortunately, but uh, I was in the J-Nug and the Nugget. I'm sure you might have already talked about it, but the biggest thing I wanted to tell you was, and I know you always say this, I just wanted to reiterate it, these are great daily trading investment vehicles, and... and um, you can get burned pretty quickly if you if you hold on to them for any length of time. So I can't emphasize it enough about the uh, the um, just no, if, you, it, if you make a profit and you get you got it, get out of it if you can. You know, that's any right. Profit's a good one. As uh, you know, a, a trader, a great trader, I believe he passed away now, but uh, maybe he didn't. Uh, Buzzy Swartz, I, I used to interview him in the '90s. He always called it ringing the bell, and he said, you know, if you just keep ringing the bell. Bottom line: Don't worry about. It. Go to the next one, and sure. it's, it's so true. Sure. You know what I mean? Because when you when you're trading fast vehicles, which the you know the nugget and the J nug is, in one day, you can be up two points down, two points are flat. So if you keep taking the two points and not say I need four, all right, it makes a difference. You know. So. Well, just just uh, yesterday, I know you told me not to do the LABD. Yeah. But when it got, when it got down to that 7:30 mark, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just take a little chance on this thing. So I grabbed a little bit of it, and I. I was watching it all day, and it wasn't doing much until I think around three o'clock or so. And by four to four, I was like, "Oh, okay, nice little profit here. I'm out." I got out, and I'm, and I'm glad I did because look at today now. It's yeah, down we have it out. Oh, no. exactly. And, I know. Yeah. You know, so you know, you can't really. They're not. They're nothing to mess with. Yeah, no, they, they are they are great to mess with as long as you understand <laughs> exactly no, exactly what you're saying. That you understand what you're messing with, right? Daily Playing investment yeah. vehicles. Yep. In right. and out. Cooking, brother. All right, man. Thank you again. See Thanks, you. Tom. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Uh, and you stay right there, folks, because we got our man, Mr. Larry Pizzavento, coming up. We he, do. He's, uh, he's filling in for our man, Basil, again, yeah. which is pretty sweet, and people should check it out. Larry's going to be there. Why not get into Fibonacci 24-7? Oh, You're watching time. Larry Pizzavento. You can be pulling up all the charts he's sending to his subscribers. And a week from today, an evening with Larry Pizzavento. A week from today. A week from today. Wednesday, June 28th, a two-hour webinar for his subscribers. He's going to be walking through from the wild 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s to present, um, going over two hours, a full webinar of his trading experience and kind of what's contributed to those 55 years, an autobiography of 55 years of trading experience. So people should check that out as they listen to our man, Larry Pesamento, coming up next at 11 o'clock. It's hard to believe. It man. is. Yeah. And let's check out oil one more. And look at, all right, let's go. I yeah. think if we can get some acceleration, it might be to the downside, even on that news. That would make sense, right? Yeah. We'll see what happens. And I just pulled this back to show, you know, I think it was just us during the break. <laughs> yes. Um, man, just the volatility it's had. We're right in the middle of kind of that huge drop all the way from 44.62 down to 43. Um, 
Yeah. We're kind of right in the middle and of we, that. We know what happens, folks, is that this oil market, what has happened, you know, you can get a point and a half move as you go through the day. Yeah, and yeah. that's what, you know, <laughs> you had some choice words for what this trade, and not bad, but you're just like, ah, oh, that's disgusting, then right. we're not. And I was like, that's right. not too disgusting. That's fine. You Maybe got, get, we, we, you weren't getting, we weren't getting the movement, Of folks. course. I yeah. mean, it is, you know, not ideal that right. we're right at that 43.75. But there's still, if you wanted to take that trade off, you could take it off and get $40 off of the 100, and you're only losing 60. I know. That's, that's. <clears> but I know. think with the full hour left and oil trying to digest that, you could definitely get a pop one way or the other. Yeah. yeah. And if we take a look at the broad market out here, <coughs> uh, Dow's down 10, NASDAQ is up 37, S&P's a flap. You stay right there, folks. Uh, our man, Mr. Bal um, uh, Larry Pesavento is coming up. He's going right. to be growling a problem with you. And of course, then we're going to swim lessons. Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Well, go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.